Hello, hello. So this is a new time slot for me. I've I don't think I've ever live streamed at this hour before. So I don't expect much people to show up. It's pretty very quick live stream. Just want to show everyone what I've been up to and what I've been doing. A lot of experimentation with volumetrics, uh, lighting in karma. I had a blast so much fun playing around with these lights mostly it's me trying to get these god rays to show up in uh my karma renders as efficiently as possible because once you start putting area lights and everything with the fog box trying to get these god rays it it, it takes it makes the renders really hard uh really long this is using uh, light filters. And I found that this way is the most effective way to get these uh, god rays as, as crisp as possible. Uh, so this is me experimenting with a gobo texture, uh, a gobo filter. So what are gobo filters? Gobo filters are just... In a real camera, if you have a real, an actual camera in your hands, like a physical camera, you would have these little lens or these um, plates that have different stencils in them. So it looks like uh, you could trace over it, like little stencils that you used to do in kindergarten or whatsoever. And that would go over your camera and block out certain, or go over your lights. So go over the lights, and then when you shoot your screen, uh, shoot your shot, you would have nice lighting, uh, uh, certain silhouettes or shapes that it would form in the light of the shadows. And that's what gobo filters are. This is placed, uh, I placed my logo image right on, uh, right on the area light using karma's light filter so the light filters in karma are a little different you actually need a specific material it looks it's it works the same way as materials um you need a light filter library just like in solaris or in um uh, solaris and karma you need a material library where it houses all the materials or the karma materials in for the karma light filters you need a car um a light filter library where houses all the light filters and just double click this you'll see that it has a network of its own in here here you can just type in filter and then you can just drop in the many different filters that uh karma has available now the one i'm using right now is the gobo filter this one so i have it right here so I'm just inputting my texture, which is just my logo image. That's what you're seeing right here, just this. It's set on decal, so it just once. I mean, you can have it streaks, you can have different effects. You can wrap, it can, <coughs> it can repeat, just like, like a UV. Let's go back up. Now, to get these god rays, or these light rays, you can see that there's lines. You can actually see lines going from, um, let me get my handy tool, going from this area light, going all the way, shining up. There are these lines, the, the light paths. And that's only possible because we're using this guy. This fog box. Now let me disable the fog box and let's see what it looks like. You won't have those god rays anymore. I mean, I mean, you see this little thing here, but that's this little thing here. That's just because there's a uh, reflection from the area light onto the ground. So that's nothing special. Um, without the fog box. So this is sort of like in any uh, software, it doesn't matter Houdini or Unreal Engine, you always need some sort of volumetric box or a box of uh, with volume in order to get those god rays in. <coughs> in Unreal Engine, 
um, I believe it's called post process volume. You'll need one of those to drop into your scene to get the god rays. In Karma, we just need a fog box. Oh, whoops. Turn it on, you get the god rays. Now this is, I find that using the gobo, uh, sorry, using the light filters is the most effective way to get these god rays. If you use just an area light, it takes a while to render and you don't get these crispy lines. These are really nice crispy lines. So I just forgot to show you. So after you create your light filter, so this is my gobo filter. After you have this created, you come over here. Actually, let me do one. Let me do one from scratch. Light filter. This is a brand new one. I'm gonna come in here. Gobo. And I'm gonna pick my logo. Which one was it? I think it was this one. Come up here. Now you can see that it's not listed here. So this works the exact same way as the material library. You have to click this button. You have to click this button in order to get, uh, oops, wrong, to get this populated. So once I click it, you'll see that it populates with this, um, uh, the corresponding, uh, light filters that you created in this library. So if you have two of them, so let me just drop in another one. Uh, let's see, barn door, this one. Let's go back up. So it's not listed here. Let me click this again. It'll be listed here. If it's not listed here, you will not be able to assign it to a light. So that's important. Okay, area. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. Uh, okay, let me do this. Let me just. I just don't want to reposition it. So this is positioned in the middle of nowhere. Um, okay, I'm just going to copy the position of this. So I'll speed things up. Hopefully. Okay, I'm just going to open both of these. So it's just easier to copy. Copy parameter. Paste value. Copy parameter. Paste value. And I did 0 0.5. Okay. Oh, what was the intensity? Oh, uh, wait. Intensity was 115. Okay, 100 and exposure 15. So that's pretty good. Uh, right now we're not seeing anything because I forgot to specify my logo. Or did I actually? Oh, wait, I, I forgot to specify the light filter is what I want to show you. So here, just click this, find the light filter. So it's the gobo one that we want apply okay and there you go now of course you don't see the god rays that's because we haven't added the fog box so i'm just gonna take this fog box and copy and paste it over okay uh it has the fog box selected so you you see all these oranges right here okay just let me throw down a camera so we can select something else there you go. It's a little weak because there's a couple ways you can control the intensity of this this light, of this gobo uh, filter light. One, in the area light itself, you can control the intensity. You can also notice that you need a quite high exposure to actually get this to see, to see your actual um, decal or, or image. And the intensity needs to be quite high. Let's see. Let's go down. Just see what it looks like. See, it's quite weak. It's probably more efficient to um, control it in the light filter itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to default. And we're going to actually change the light filter itself, the gobo texture. So I'm going to pop this up. So I can go back to Solaris and see what I'm doing while changing this. And I'm going to make, turn up the intensity. 
Turn up the exposure. Let's see, 15. Okay, you can see that once you turn up the exposure, you can see more of it. And you'll also need a combination of intensity to see uh, to see a clearer. Now what happens if we have intensity but not exposure? Let's turn this down. Okay, let's go like this. It's hard to make out the picture. So you need a combination of both is what I'm trying to say. You can't just have turn jack up the intensity without the exposure. So let's turn this back down. Fifth. Let's let's turn the intensity to one and the exposure to like a hundred. So the point I'm trying to make is that you can't you have to do a combination of both. You can't have you can't just jack up one of the parameters. Is what I was trying to show. Okay. And you can also come to the area light and you can jack this up as well. 115. Okay, that might be a little too much. Okay. Let me just cheat and just go back to my original one and see what I had. <laughs> I just don't want to waste your time. So I had 8 and 1.3. So let's see, 8.82 and 1.35 in the filter. And then if I go back up in the light, I had 115. Okay, so let's go 115. Okay, so this is the ones that I used. So that would give you nice god rays. Let's see. And there's also one more thing you need to know that will affect these god rays is that this fog box has a density. I'm just going to circle this. So this fog box has a density. The higher the density, um, the less light will get through. So if once I turn it really high, the light is not getting through because the fog box is too thick. Now let's try something 0 0.04. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's too much. Okay. Now you can see that everything's a little more dim. If I go 0 0.01, it's too bright. Or it, it's to your liking. You have to find that sweet spot. So let's go... 004 is what I had before. So, uh, that's a quick... Now, this is volumetric lighting to get the god rays. And this is what I recommend using the light filters. Now, normally, the first thing people think of trying to get these god rays would be to use just a plain area light without the light filter. So, I did that too. Let me go over here. So this is a different project. Close that. Okay. So this is a very simple scene. It literally is. Okay, let me turn off the the um, the Karma engine for a second. I just want to show you what I have first. So this is just the box made up of grids. And these are grids right from Solaris. So they're just the default uh, default objects. They're nothing special. There's. I don't think I even put a material on it. Because all I wanted was just a box. And I wanted to try the volumetrics. I mean, I do sizing and all just to get it in the right place and all. Or maybe I did put a, a material. It's nothing special, though. I just made everything yellow. So it's a yellow box. Yep, so it's a yellow box. I think I was testing the reflections. But anyways, then I put down a Karma fog box. So you can see that the fog box is the same size as, same, almost same size as this open box. I'm trying to reproduce the same god material, uh, god rays with just an area light. So this is the area light right, positioned right here, shining down. Now let me turn Karma on. 
and you can see it show up you can but what i'm trying to say is that now this area light does not have a light filter so if we come here there's no light fil filter this is empty you can see that the intensity is pretty high and exposure like it doesn't matter how much if i turn this up you can see it, it starts to get more crispy the, the this god ray line is more crispy but it's not as sharp as the one that we just saw using the filter a uh, uh, global filter you can actually use other light filters but this th doesn't seem as easy to to control uh and the fog box oh the fog box is quite thick though let me turn it to the same size a uh, same density as i was using in the previous one uh 10. so once we start doing that it starts to really and we can't do we can't make this 15 because once you start doing that it floods the entire scene even one is too 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 much so it's a lot harder to get those god rays using just the plain area light is what i'm trying to say you have to play around with the fog box density the area light intensity and exposure i mean that's the same thing with the other one but that one was a lot easier to control you can get those crispy lines just by jacking up the exposure a lot and just turning up the intensity as well this once you turn everything up it starts to flood the entire scene so this was meant to be a really quick uh stream not casual just quick tidbit um yeah that's about it so uh that's all i had for today so if these tidbits if you if you guys really like these tidbits just let me know in the comments um they're fun to do and they're really relaxing because i it's it's quick and fast as opposed to the other usual live streams i have that take hours they're excruciatingly long hey flaming burrito you made it it was magic <laughs> i do love these these lights i am working on more of these cinematic looks to get the best out of karma I'm trying to reproduce everything in Unreal Engine as well, just because that engine's a lot faster. And there's so much assets in there. I'm trying to get that short film off the ground. But I've been saying that like a broken record for a long time. Bubble Bits. Oh, you come up with the best names. I like that. I think I called this a Bubble Jam. And I think you, you gave me that name. You come up with the best name. Well, that's all I had planned for today. So, um, yeah, I'll see everyone in the next one.